All right, if you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, it's me, old Remy. And, uh, yeah, Tenpai, baby, Tenpai. Um, I've been enjoying this deck, like I've said a hundred times before. Um, I think it's a tier one deck. I think it, it can definitely compete with the best of them. I got a few replays I want to show you guys. Um, against meta decks, this, uh, oh, this isn't like a surprise OGD. These are like best of three games, and I just kind of just nitpicked the best ones I saw. Um, but let me pause this really quick. Yep. Yeah, so, um, one of the good games I had right here, interaction between Snake Eyes, or I'm sorry, not Snake Eyes, uh, Fire King and, um, Tenpai, right? Um, he, he goes first this game. I think this was like game one or something like that. Might've been game two. So he didn't know what I was playing. And, um, he opts to go first again after he lost. I'm like, sure, go right ahead. Um, I'm not, and I'm not going to turn down that going first. Um, but I draw the, uh, dimensional shifter. Cause I immediately, I mean, I know what he's playing, right? Um, main phase, I, I kind of messed my timing up here, but that's okay. But just look what you can do. I just want to say, just, just look what you can do with this deck. It's, it's literally insane. So I hit him with the D shifter. He, he negates it. Obviously, um, he had it in his hand. So nothing's getting banished. He goes for the black witch. Black Witch pitch, pitches the uh, Effect Veiler, right? Goes for the um, Ponyx. This Ponyx lets him grab, a, I think, a, a spell or trap or something like that. Sanctuary basically grabs you the fill spell, right? Fill spell lets you destroy a monster. Search a Fire King card if you don't know how they work. Then we get the Garunix. Garunix destroys a card, I believe, in Special Summon. I think that's how it works. Oh, no, you send one and then you Special Summon it. It's basically a free body. Then we finally send that. I hit him with the ash right here because I knew he was kind of going for his snake eyes line right here. But he ended up grabbing the Karen. I don't know what circle of fire king. I don't know what that card. I think he's playing around with it. He grabs a uh, Avatara. A blaze lets him grab that. And then he's going for his Promethean Princess line. He grabs back his Karen. He goes for his Ambla Well pass turn, right? So right here we know snake eyes we know uh fire king they play through it all right so i kind of shut off the fire kinks i mean the god i keep saying it wrong i kind of shut off the snake eyes part of this deck but just look what i can do with one panker tops now he did misplay a little bit right here but i mean that is what it is but panker tops special summon right that triggers um he triggers am he triggers basically uh the bestower right and I'm like, okay, bet. So I use uh, Panker Top's effect to get rid of this, to basically trigger that. I want him to trigger all his effects right now. That's what I'm doing. Trigger everything. You just want to. Okay, so that's one thing I got to. One less thing I got to worry about later on. Trigger, 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 trigger. Mind you, I only have really two cards in my hand. I activate the the field spell. Whoops. I activate the field spell, which basically makes me, these Tempai monsters immune. I think it's Dragon Dragon. Yeah. Fire Dragon monsters in general are immune to uh, your opponent's activated effects. So, insane. And then this is the play I, I typically, I start doing now. Um, I guess I didn't really explain. It just kind of happened. Um, what I like to do is I like to go for the manor to protect, obviously. And then I go for uh, white. I'm just going to start calling by their color. I'm gonna, then I go for white. White's effect to grab the, the uh, spell card. And then I use the manor's effect to pitch whatever card I have in my hand to get to grab me red or orange. I uh, was call it red. And then I go immediately into black a uh, black rose dragon. Uh very if you don't know what to do, I'll explain it really quick. Um when this card is synchro summon, you can destroy all cards on the field once per turn, right? So he's kind of burnt through his triggers. I kind of burned through all my triggers. All I have left is this. So I'm basically banking on this to clear the board so I can get things rocking. He triggers this to go for that. And basically just banishes everything. Or just destroys everything. So now he's, again, he's triggering his effects again. Again, that's what I want. He grabs, he goes for this one. I, I'm sorry, I enter battle phase at this point. Because this only um, negates if you have another fire card. He has no fire card. So this is basically just a dead body. Um, jump battle phase, and then I use the uh, trap card to go for uh, green. Green's your monster, your fire dragon reborn. 
for the most part. Fire Dragon Reborn. Then I reborn um, Red, and then I'm, then I'm basically gaming. Basically gaming right here. This is full combo. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's insane. I did misplay a little bit here. That doesn't really, really matter for the most part. Because, um, I mean, it's really game. But, yep, I use the effects. I'm synchro summoning. I just, I'm basically just going for lethal. Special summon. Bada boom, bada bing. That's game. There you go. So, just something you can do. Now, the, the combo, the videos get a little bit better after this. So, just, so uh, stick with me. Stick with me, right? All right, here we go again. This is another best of three. Um, I played against, uh, I think he was just a pure Snake Eyes deck. And, obviously, he... I chose to go second, I believe. I forgot I forgot the, the ordering, but I'm going second, essentially. Um, hands pretty pretty meh, right? Still full combo here. If he's, I know he's not playing any dark, so... I mean, I know he's playing only the one dark, so I can kind of get away with this, because this... In my opinion, I feel like Magnemute is a lot better than um, trying to go for the blaster route. Because blaster requires two cards. Magnum just requires a dark monster, you know? But anywho, he goes for the original simple spoils. He grabs Deal Bell Star. So now I know my Magnum is live. He pitches Poplar. You know, I immediately hit him with the Ash right there. I mean, the uh, Infinites and Permanents. He still had some more gas. Again, hit it, hit that. He goes for the Flamvish. He goes for uh, Hita. Going for Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess grabs on that. He sets one past turn, right? Okay. In phase, that's important. In phase, once everything's said and done, because this isn't really that critical right now. I, I don't want to lose it, obviously, but it's not really that critical. So I go for the Magnemute on the in phase. Um, to get the to get an extra draw for one, and then you know, pray I grab something more useful as my uh, fourth card. So I grab white. So I'm just gonna call them by the colors now because I don't care about the names. And then I draw. Unfortunately, I drew this, um, but it is what it is. Draw face. He uses this effect. And then now he's gaming again. Poplar effect. We know the story. Poplar. He's just laying out bodies right now. He saw what I. He knows what I'm playing. I'm. I'm Okay, so I know I'm kind of in trouble right here. So I go for, that's what I do. I trigger, um, because he already used Flamberge's effect, and he only really ha doesn't have anything in the graveyard. I trigger that immediately to just get rid of that. He hits me with this. No biggie. I don't really care. Special summon this from the hand. Red. Battle phase. And we're just, we're basically just counting attacks right now. That's one. Because that lets me special summon that. He puts Flamberge in the background. That's two. Two attacks. And I get to use this attack. Or they use the, the effect to grab this. And then because I didn't use. Because he was negated. I brought him back. So I can use him for later. And then I get to use uh, Green's effect to bring back my last one. And then we go immediately into the transition dragon. And that's that's game. That's literally OTK right there. It wasn't as cool as, as the first one, but I just want to show you a variety, of, like what the deck can do against Snake Eyes. You know, let's look at some more. You know, I got more. I got more. You know that, right? Yeah. So what do you do when you have no interruptions, right? Pure Snake Eyes. Again, what do you do, right? This is what you do. He grabs the bomb fire, which just dropped a master duel, by the way. Hallelujah. The deck is now officially tier zero. Um, I don't think it's tier zero, but it's 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 a lot stronger now. Ash Poplar. So basically, yeah, so he's gaming right now. You know, just I can't do anything. I'm basically just praying for a uh oh yeah, this was so this was Snake Eyes uh fire fire uh fire king. And he's Ponix to grab Circle. I don't think I don't really like this card, to be honest, but I get it. Yep, we go on Flamberge. He banishes one. He grabs Garunix. Garunix special summons itself by sending a fire to the graveyard. 
Bam. He could put sends Gert Garen or Gert Kieran. We go IP. Say, bro, like, he's putting up the bodies. I just, I just, okay. Now I'm waiting for the Flamberge effect so I can basically, bam, you know. So I, I had a little interaction going on there. He hits me with the ash. No biggie, you know. Not the end of the world. Oh, to draw the ash back. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. And then he draws the plus one with the heat soul. Grabs want it for next turn, looks like. And blow well. Hmm. Like I said, bro is gaming, dude. Bro is was, was gaming. Again, we don't really care about um, Appaloosa. To be honest, I think this was game one. He didn't really, you know, people don't read. So he he misplayed there a little bit. Then again, I wanted him to kind of misplay. Again, I just wanted you to get, burn all your effects. Burn all your effects because it's, it's literally game. You just don't know it yet. It's literally game. I was unable to special summon. So I basically just got to pop it out the way. Use that to draw that to basically special summon uh, red. And we, and I want to, yeah, had to negate that there. Unfortunate. And he's, you know, he's bringing out, he's bringing those bodies. You know what I mean? So at this point, I had no, I, I have to get one more attack off <clears throat> without killing anything. So I can go into uh, transition, transcend dragon to basically to stop him from playing, essentially. See, I didn't, I didn't want to kill anything. So I went for what had the lowest attack, right? Okay. Missing text because it doesn't have it in there. And then we go transition dragon. Everything goes to attack phase. He can no longer activate effects. And now we're just cleaning the board up now. I'm just getting more bodies right now. More bodies, more bodies. That's what I'm trying to do. More bodies. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So he's just, there's literally nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. And ensure he can't use it. That's why I made the second one. To ensure he can't use any more effects. We go for the Titan Dragon and just... Trident Dragon. And just go for the win. So, again, you know, we can play through it, bro. We can play through a lot. You know what I mean? And these are the Tier 1 decks. You know what I mean? I, I know, oh, yeah, people can learn the deck and learn how to counter and all that stuff. Obviously. But you can fight with the best of them. And I haven't even showed you, like... this. I haven't even showed you, like, the tech decks yet. Or the tech games. I mean, you know, this is basically just... Me having complete, absolute garbage. Just just monsters. I'm not even have like the interruptions or anything. But let's check out, you know, let's let's keep it rolling. I think I got two more. Okay, playing some voiceless voice. Banish six. A lot of times too with this deck too. I'll just kind of free 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 farm right now. Um they don't or you can really just save your um, interactions till the the you know your turn you don't really have to burn it for the most part because we're playing like a going second board breaking deck you know what i mean but at this point i don't know what he's playing i think he's playing cash Tira, so i don't see the voice of voice in his hands i'm just seeing pure pure cash Tira, which by the way rice heart is banned in in on um, the tcg so you're probably wondering why he went this this role instead of another way i guess because it, it, it's banned i don't know why it's banned it could at least be at one but I don't know, I think it's silly. They need to, I mean, I'm not a cash terror enthusiast, but come on, bro. Like, a rise heart needs to be at one at least. At least one. But I guess they want their Fenrir's at three so bad that that's a thing. I, I don't know, bro. But yeah, I saw this. I'm like, why isn't he making a rise heart? Okay. So, this is where things start getting interesting right here, right? Um, I got basically gas right here. I got 100% gas. Um, that didn't use Magnamute on his turn because this card negates, is a negate. So, I didn't want to, no point in giving him a free card. Um, but, yeah. Draw phase. Basically hit this with the, um, or I'm sorry, standby phase. Basically stop this from even happening. Or force a negate. 
you know, I didn't neither neither war happened. He brings out uh Severus, I forgot its name. Um, so I can't target, no big deal. Destroying all the spell and trap cards. Now I can use my Magnamute. Okay, now he's again he's playing into my 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 play again. Still a card again. I I want him to play into this stuff. You know what I mean. So now I get to use the trick, the thrust. Thrust is going to grab me the uh, the Rengeki right here, and I'm basically just going to clear his board. I didn't have a playable hand, but because oh yeah, that was also going to mention too. And that's the beautiful thing about not ashing triple tactics. You can use it again. Because they they didn't they I think it's you, negating the activation versus not that's why you can use a second one against Baron because it doesn't negate the activation or however the wording is so basically I draw two cards and I'm like oh perfect I'm like perfect perfect and this is another combo that you want to be mindful of as well is um you can use Manner's effect to just send a Tenpai to the graveyard so you can use it later as an extra body essentially yeah so i use this effect i could i could have did it during the battle phase but i chose not to but you know boom i use red's effect red's gonna grab me green green's gonna then grab me the one from the graveyard and you know that's 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 lethal essentially that's lethal and that's against what was that four or five five negates right there with a hand that was completely terrible. Just happened to get lucky with the second uh, tactics. So I'll take it. Lethal. Bada boom, bada bing. I mean, so these games, I said, bro, the next YCS is going to be quick. You know what I mean? It's going to be quick. All right, so this is the last one. Um, they say that this deck loses to Runic. Like, Runic's like a hard counter. I just don't see how. I, I really don't. I really don't see how. You know, they play a lot of toxic stuff. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. He was banking on, you know, using his runic fountain to draw. But, you know, I got the Ash Blossom. So, yeah, we're... Oh, wait. Why did I not use Ash Blossom? What the heck? I might have misplayed there. But again, I'm like the fourth time I'm trying to attack. <laughs> Finally attack. I grab Debor, uh grab white. I'm just gonna call him white. I grab white. Want more bodies. Hands completely terrible. Terrible, complete trash. I then go for black rose to basically pop everything right then and there. He got, if you don't have a negate, I'm getting rid of everything. So then I get to use green. Green to bring back um red and i'm going for lethal just like that i mean like i have not unless runic is playing 100 percent floodgates and i just don't draw anything i don't lose the runic going first or second so i don't understand that where the the difficulty now mind you there are probably some better runic players out there i'm not saying i'm playing against the best ones but i like i'm like runic's like i'm like what i play 3d shifter like, what, why am I worried about Runic? But, um, anywho, this is my Tenpai right here. Um, deck can do a lot. Deck can do a lot. Um, I'm definitely going to be opening up packs for this deck um, when it comes out for the TCG. If they're, if they're, if they're not rarity bumped to, to high heaven, um, I'm definitely going to get a complete, a, get a playable set of this deck because it's fun. It's fun. But, um, yeah, without further ado, if you guys made it to the end, like I said, make sure to like, share, subscribe. If I already said that, I don't remember. And um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, again, it's spring break. That's why the video's kind of been hiatus right now. And uh, we're going to keep things rocking. Peace. Well, I, I guess I got I to gotta show the deck list, right? I got to show the deck list. So let's do let's do that. Yeah. So deck list, uh, two pank, one magnamute, three claws, three shifters, three three reds, three whites, two, two greens, ash blossom to three. You can really... I mean, it really depends on your meta. Um, on DB, 
this kind of comes in handy on, I don't know, for some reason when I record on DB, it's just like, I, I can't figure that out. So I just record stuff on here. Um, Regeki, they just got the, the, the rescan of this. So I figured I add that in there. Right. Um, lightning storm at two is solid. I think the biggest thing that makes this deck so great isn't the 10 pie cards. It's literally the fact that you could run three talents, three thrust. So in a, in a meta where they like to go use effects during the draw phase. Okay. Draw phase going second. Okay. You're going to use that. I'm going to use this on my main phase and just grab Ringeki or grab feather duster. You know what I mean? And it's like, you have to respond, you know what I mean? And then once you respond with your monster negate, Oh, I can use tactics now and I can either draw two or still a monster you control. And now you're, you have to use another interaction. So this, this two punch combo is insane. Um, it makes, it literally puts the deck in a whole new level. Now these cards can obviously be whatever. Uh, I'm not going to say whatever, because Regeki does come up a lot. You'd be surprised how many decks just can't do anything, can't respond against Regeki. I'm talking about meta decks, like meta decks. Um, you can see it just from the fact of when I'm playing um, Black Rose Dragon. I mean, obviously, I can I can protect it under manner, but there's some games where this Regeki alone just wins me the game. So I'm basically running three Regekis. Um, the field, I mean, the... The trap, I mean, yeah, I'm blind. The spell card, and then the field spell, and then three in perm. Again, in perm can be something else. I kind of grab, if I'm forced to go first, and they use, like, something on me, I can just kind of go thrust, set an in perm, you know, whatever, keep things rocking. Um, or, it, I mean, if I have an in perm in my hand, it's kind of keep it in my hand, keep things going. reason why I don't play a lot of the other hand traps are because... They don't really work well with D-Shifter. If I have D-Shifter in my hand, I can't use Bell. I can't use um, Warner. I can't use um, Ogre. It, it, like the hand, it's it's it just don't work. And again, Rod, I mentioned why you run three uh, Scare Claws is because one, Panker Tops is twenty six. He's twenty five. You can punch over it, and then also your uh, dragons are 26 as well so you can just kind of punch over it and you can you can drop multiple of them down so it's a great card but um extra deck i haven't really really played around with for the most part i kind of just been keeping it the same as my last videos um what's really important is just two of these and you could probably play i play a lot of cash Tira, so i run two of these as well um but you could really drop this to one if you really wanted to uh he comes up a lot if you just kind of go for the win boom 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 um Especially on a D shifter, if you need that little, if you need like your short like 500, 200 life points, you go him, kind of just get you the win. Um, probably play more heavily spheres, possibly. Um, we'll see about that. But then the um, oh, this is released now. Interesting. And but the extra side deck is just. I don't even cite this stuff in. It's just kind of there to play around with. I don't even use these. Um, but yeah, running along, long. Guys hung it out today, and I appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.